Hi friends, today I'm going to read you a passage from a book called The Sense of Wonder by Rachel Carson. Rachel Carson is most well known for being the author of the book Silent Spring, which helped to start the modern environmental movement back in the 60s. But the last book she ever wrote, and the one she thought might be the most important, is called The Sense of Wonder. The pictures in this video are from a walk I went on this morning, and I stopped and took pictures of things that made me feel a sense of wonder. So without further ado, here's the passage from the book. Exploring nature is largely a matter of becoming receptive to what lies all around you. It is learning again to use your eyes, ears, nostrils, and fingertips, using your senses, for most of us, knowledge of our world comes largely through sight, yet we look about with such unseeing eyes that we are partially blind. One way to open your eyes to unnoticed beauty is to ask yourself, what if I had never seen this before? What if I knew I would never see it again? I remember a summer night when such a thought came to me strongly. It was a clear night without a moon. With a friend, I went out on a flat headland that is almost a tiny island, being all but surrounded by the waters of the bay. There, the horizons are remote and distant rims on the edge of space. We lay and looked up at the sky and the millions of stars that blazed in the darkness. The night was so still that we could hear the buoy on the ledges out beyond the mouth of the bay. Once or twice, a word spoken by someone on the far shore was carried across on the clean air. A few lights burned in cottages. Otherwise, there was no reminder of other human life. My companion and I were alone with the stars. I have never seen them more beautiful. The misty river of the Milky Way flowing across the sky, the patterns of the constellations standing out bright and clear, a blazing plant low on the horizon. Once or twice, a meteor burned its way into the Earth's atmosphere. It occurred to me that if this were a sight that could be seen only once in a century, or even once in a human generation, this little headland would be thronged with spectators. But it can be seen many scores of nights in any years. And so the lights burned on cottages, and the inhabitants probably gave not a thought to the beauty overhead. And because they could see it almost any night, perhaps they will never see it. An experience like that, where one's thoughts are released to roam through the lonely spaces of the universe can be shared, even if you don't know the name of a single star, you can still drink in the beauty and think and wonder at the meaning of what you see. Thanks for watching this video. I'd love it if you leave a comment and let me know what's something that makes you feel a sense of wonder. Until next time.